in this video we will look at example when a lightning strike the tower so we have a three phase 115 kilo volt overhead transmission line overhead transmission line uh, with a nominal system of 115 kilo volt and it has a basic insulation level BIM of 550 as we can see in the table here 550 uh, kb for the BIM and the line is supported on steel towers and protected by a circuit breaker so this is the line okay supported by a tower steel tower and then uh, the line is uh, also connected to the circuit breaker um, so the ground resistance at each tower is 25 ohms this is the tower footing resistance tower footing resistance is 25 ohms measured to be 25 ohms whereas the neutral of the line is solidly grounded at the transformer just ahead of the circuit breaker you can see here the neutral is connected to the ground um, so during a lightning storm one of the towers is hit by a lightning stroke of 30 kilo m okay lightning stroke 30 kilo ohm right so let's look at what happened before and during the lightning stroke all right so peak voltage across the each insulator string during normal operation this is before the lightning uh, strike right um as you can see here this is the insulator uh, string insulator right this is string insulator um so the bottom part of the string insulator is holding the line conductor and the top part of the string insulator is uh, hanging to the steel tower so this part is grounded and this part is um, live 115 kilovolt so what during normal operation what is the peak voltage across each insulator string so we know that um, the line to line voltage is given or face to face voltage is given um, which is 150 kilovolts so so line to neutral is simply um, 115 kilovolt divided by square root of 3 which is 66.4 kV so this is the uh, line to neutral voltage or phase voltage so if we can see that during normal operation the phase voltage so the voltage um, across the three insulator is only 66.4 kilovolt this is below BIL BIL is 550 kilovolt so because of the uh, voltage is there is below BIL then there's no flash over from line to tower right so there's no flash over from line to tower because the voltage is very low uh, below then the BIL so current flowing to us is zero right and then we can see that the peak this is a voltage to neutral um, sorry line to neutral um, and then even during peak voltage okay peak voltage 66.4 kb times uh, square root of 2 93.9 kb so this is also below the the bil value right so during normal operation there's no flash over to the line so what happened when the lightning strikes the tower so when the lightning strikes the tower the voltage on earth resistance jumps to okay you can calculate that this is the uh, is simply v equals ir so the voltage okay the voltage here at the, at the tower okay the voltage at the tower is 25 ohm time 30 kilo m so this is the value of the 
voltage at the tower. So voltage at the tower is now 750 kilovolt. So this exceeds the BIL, which is 550 kV. So because of the, the, the voltage due to the lightning strike is higher than the BIL, then this will cause flash over at the insulator string. You can see here, flash over across the insulator string. So basically, the lightning strike the tower. So the tower will cause flash over to the insulator string. Okay, lightning strike the tower and then the the lightning cause flash over to the insulator uh, across the insulator string and then the lightning travels through the overhead line. Okay. So short circuiting all three phase to line to still up. Right? So you can see here uh, the, the lightning once it strike the tower flash over to uh, across the insulator string and then travel through the conductor through the line. All right, so the line voltage will then feed sustain short circuit current, right? Until circuit breaker clear, clear the lines. So how can we avoid any possible flash over under this circumstance? Um, one measure is to reduce the earth resistance or the tower footing resistance. So now the tower footing resistance is 25 ohms. What, ha what happens if we reduce it to 10 ohms? Okay, let's say 10 ohms. So we'll do the calculation again. If the tower footing resistance is 10 ohm, multiply with the same uh, lightning 30 kilo amp you can get the voltage is only 300 kilo volt voltage uh, due to the lightning strikes only 300 kilo volt uh, so you can see that this is below the basic impulse lightning uh, but basic impulse lightning level Right, there is therefore no short circuit or no flash over. So you can see that it is important uh, to reduce the value of tower footing resistance. So every tower has its own uh, foot, uh, footing resistance. So it is important to make sure that each of the resistance is below a certain value. Below the required limit so that it will not cause flash over to the system.